Hi, I'm Stan Lyle. Welcome to Master Math's lesson on Algebra, Writing and Evaluating Expressions. Three hours plus five hours equals eight hours. Three plus five equals eight. This is called a numerical expression. There's just numbers in it. All right, well, how about this one? How many hours plus five hours equals eight hours? X plus five hours equals eight hours. The X is the variable, and if you see an X in an expression, that means we have an algebraic expression. In an algebraic expression, the X is called the variable. The variable represents a number, and it's the unknown number. It's typically what you're trying to solve for. X is the variable. X is the number we're trying to solve for. In a word problem, if they ask the question, how many, just substitute X for how many as you translate the word problem into math. X is frequently used as a variable, but you're not limited to X. You can use any letter or any combination of letters to be a variable in an, in an algebraic expression. A, B, C, A, B, Y, Z. What you got to remember is that the letters are put in the equation to represent an unknown number. Try this one on your own. How many dollars plus three dollars equals five dollars? You may want to hit your pause button to give yourself time to work this problem out on a piece of paper and pencil and then hit the forward button to move on to the next slide. How many dollars plus three dollars equals five dollars? Well when you see how many just substitute X. How many dollars plus three dollars equals five dollars. X plus three equals five. It costs three dollars for tickets to the dance. You have four friends you want to take. How much will it cost you? Solve this one, this one on your own and hit the forward arrow key when you're finished to move on to the next slide. It cost three dollars for tickets to the dance. You have four friends you want to take. How much will it cost? Three dollars times four friends equals how much will it cost? Three times four equals X. Three dollars times four friends equals X dollars. You got an 85 on your first math test and a 93 on your next math test. By how many points did your grade improve? Well first, it's a word problem, so we need to CUCC, circle, underline, count, and check. You got an 85, so we'll circle the 85, that's a number. If it's a math problem, the numbers are probably going to be important. You get an 85 on your first math test and a 93 on your next math test. Now we're going to underline the question. By how many points did your grade improve? By how many points? Well, remember if we've got a how many question, we're probably going to substitute X for how many. So how many points? X equals how much did it, your grade improve? Well, your higher grade was 94 three and your lower grade was 85 so X equals the higher grade 93 minus the lower grade 85 X equals 8
Here's another one to try. Your Aunt Maria lives 250 miles from your house. You can take a train to visit her, and station to station it takes the train five hours to make the trip. What is the train's average miles per hour? Make sure you got paper and pencil. Hit the pause button to give yourself time to do the problem. And when you're done, hit the forward button. Okay, let's see you CC. Your Aunt Maria lives 250 miles. There's a number. I'm going to circle it. From your house. You can take the train to visit her. And station to station, it takes the train five hours. Another number. Let's circle it. Five hours to make the trip. Now we got the question. What is the train's average miles per hour? So we're trying to figure out miles per hour. And the first thing you need to remember is that when you see per in an expression, it probably means to divide. Miles per hour per miles per hour equals miles divided by hours. Miles per gallon means miles divided by gallons. Hits per at bat means the number of hits you got divided by the number of times you were at bat. So when you see per, you want to divide. So let's go back to our problem. Miles per hour. We're going to divide the miles by the hours. It was 250 miles divided by 5 hours, divided by 5 hours. 250 divided by 5 is 50 miles per hour. And once again, you got miles divided by hours, miles per hour. So it's 50 miles per hour. Well, now we finished our section on evaluating expressions and writing expressions. And it's time for you to test your skills. Go to mastermath.info find the worksheet tab. On the worksheet page you'll see under sixth grade first quarter a couple of worksheets on evaluating expressions and writing expressions. Download these, print them, and test your skills. Come back again real soon and take another lesson at mastermath.info.